I'm Trevor. I'm Janessa. And today we're going to be showing you how to build a paginated list using Apollo Client. Here we have our demo app. It's a big long list of every launch that SpaceX has put into space. And that's a pretty big list. So we're going to do something that we call pagination, which is where you take your data, you request it in small batches and display it in those small batches so that the user doesn't have to worry about scrolling through this really huge list every time they want to look at things. The GraphQL API we're using in this demo app accepts a limit variable on this launches past field. If I set that limit to 10, you'll see that the list gets shortened. I can make this dynamic by defining a page size variable equal to 10, and then defining a GraphQL variable called limit, which is an integer. And I'll use that GraphQL variable in place of the hard-coded 10. Now, I just need to supply variables to my use query hook and pass page size as limit. And the result is the same. So this is great. We're looking at just 10 launches now, but now we want to be able to control which group of 10 launches we're looking at, depending on which page we're on. So this particular API has another variable called offset that we can use. This is also going to be an integer. And to make this super dynamic, depending on which page we're on, we're going to use a little bit of React state. And we're going to start looking at page 0. Don't forget to import that use state hook. And then in our use query hook, so we can offset the launches that we're requesting by multiplying the index of the page that we're on by the page size or the number of launches that's on each page. We now have a dynamic offset variable in our query. But we're going to need a way to control this. So. I'll paste in a nav element that I built previously, and we're going to wire these two buttons up to uh, set the page when they're clicked to its previous value plus or minus one, so that when I click on the next page, it'll load page two, page three, and so on. And when I click the previous button, the pages are loaded instantly because that data is already cached in Apollo Client. So now we have working pagination. We can click on the next button to go to page two, go back to page one, but we'll see if we click previous while we're on the first page, it's actually gonna break. So we wanna actually disable that button by saying if page doesn't exist or if, it's, if the index of the page is zero, then we don't wanna be able to click on it. So now if we refresh our page, on page one, we cannot request any previous data. Disabling the previous button when we're on the first page is easy because we know when we're on the first page. The, the next button is a little different. We don't always know when we're on the last page. So your implementation is going to look a little different depending on what data you have available to you from your API. There you go. That's pagination in just a few minutes. <laughs>